Immersed in the majestic tranquility of nature, we find ourselves questioning how to find clarity amidst the turmoil of daily life. The ancient Stoics, wise individuals who transcended eras, bequeathed us a timeless guide. This guide speaks to the power of internal focus, controlling what is within reach and transforming obstacles into opportunities. Stoic philosophy, serving as a compass for modern life, provides a path to live with purpose and serenity. In this invitation to exploration, we invite you to delve into the depths of this age-old wisdom. The proposed journey is one of self-discovery and resilience, revealing how focusing on oneself can redefine one's perspective of the world. Prepare for genuine transformation for a journey that transcends the boundaries of convention. By enrolling, you not only enter a course but commit to exploring life's possibilities. Share your experiences in the comments, build a learning community, and leave a like to express your support. Together we will unravel the secrets of facing life's storms with serenity and strength. We will learn the art of resilience and attain the true freedom that comes from mastering emotions. Don't miss the unique opportunity to transform your perspective and enrich your inner journey with timeless teachings that transcend the limitations of time. This is an invitation to awakening, to the silent revolution of self-focus. Enroll now, for the beginning of an extraordinary journey awaits. In our life's journey, we are constantly challenged by situations that test our patience, emotional balance, and above all, our ability to maintain serenity amidst chaos. Epicurus, the ancient sage, left us a timeless gift that resonates surprisingly in today's times. He reminded us that it is not the external circumstances that affect us, but rather how we choose to interpret them. This statement is not just a philosophical pondering. It is an invitation to deep reflection on the power that resides within each of us. It is the revelation of the power to master our emotions, encapsulating the essence of Stoic philosophy, an ancient wisdom that continues to offer valuable lessons even in contemporary times. Understanding that true freedom lies in emotional control is crucial for our journey. But what does this really mean? It reflects the idea that, in the face of life's vicissitudes, ups and downs, storms and calms, we hold in our hands the master key that allows us to navigate these often turbulent waters with an unwavering sense of peace and determination. Focusing on oneself above all is more than a mere recommendation. It is an invitation to a profound journey into the depths of our own mind. It involves not just surface-level introspection, but a true examination of consciousness, where we seek to understand not only what we feel, but primarily, why we feel it. This inner exploration not only empowers us to face daily challenges, but also allows us to cultivate a deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. In this dive into the depths of our existence, we find not only answers, but the wisdom to transform challenges into opportunities for growth and authenticity. The inner journey, rich in discoveries, reveals that by reinterpreting the events of our lives in a different light, we can effectively transform the essence of our human experience. Mastering our emotions is not a simple undertaking. It requires practice, patience, and above all, an unwavering willingness to free ourselves from the chains that bind us to automatic and often destructive reactions. However, the reward for this effort is immeasurable. Imagine for a moment living a life where fear, anxiety, and frustration no longer hold power over you. Envision facing challenges not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities to grow, learn, and evolve. Epictetus's message stands out as a beacon of hope in a world often dominated by chaos and uncertainty. He reminds us that, although we have no control over external events, we have complete mastery over how we choose to respond to them. This is true inner freedom, the ability to find calm in the midst of the storm, to hold our heads high when everything around us seems to crumble. Virtue, as Epictetus wisely advocates, is sufficient for happiness. Navigating the turbulent waves of existence we often find ourselves in search of a beacon to guide us to the desired happiness in this tireless pursuit. It's easy to get lost in the storms of desires for approval, material success, and external recognition. However, the timeless words of Marcus Aurelius, one of the most lucid minds to rule the Roman Empire, echo through the centuries with surgical precision. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This thought invites us to a deep reflection on the true meaning of happiness and the path to attain it. As we explore the essence of our thoughts, we discover the ability to shape our internal reality and, consequently, positively influence the world around us. Thus the pursuit of happiness transforms into an inner journey, 
a constant exploration of the territories of the mind, where we find the seeds of true joy and lasting satisfaction. At the heart of this message lies the remarkable idea that virtue, as an intrinsic quality reflecting the best of our being, is the true key to a full and happy life. We understand that virtue is not something to be sought externally. It doesn't resemble a displayed trophy or a material possession. It is, above all, a personal choice, a commitment to living according to the highest standards of integrity, kindness, and wisdom. Embarking on the journey in search of virtue is an invitation to look inward, challenging us to question our deepest motivations and redefine our priorities. It involves choosing the right path instead of the easiest, acting with compassion instead of indifference, and seeking truth instead of illusion. It is a path that demands courage, as we often find ourselves swimming against the current of a society that values the ephemeral over the eternal. Marcus Aurelius's words resonate in reminding us that true happiness does not reside in seeking others' approval, accumulating wealth, or fleeting pleasures. It is rooted in the serenity that comes from the knowledge that we are living a virtuous life aligned with the highest human values. This happiness is sustainable because it doesn't depend on external factors but rather on an endless source that springs from within us. The pursuit of virtue as the compass of our existence is an invitation to embark on a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. This ongoing process is a work in progress, where each decision, thought, and action brings us a little closer to our truest essence and, consequently, authentic happiness. It is a journey that transcends the superficialities of everyday life, revealing the depth and richness that can be found in the constant practice of virtue, guiding us toward a more meaningful and fulfilling existence. As we enter the vast ocean of philosophies that have shaped the trajectory of humanity over the centuries, we encounter a powerful and transformative premise, to live in accordance with nature. This idea, sometimes misunderstood, does not urge us to abandon civilization in search of refuge in the wild, but rather to seek a deeper harmony with the fundamental principles that govern our existence as rational and virtuous beings. Living in accordance with nature transcends mere existence in the world. It is an invitation to align our lives with values and principles that reflect our most authentic nature. This implies understanding that at the core of our being reside reason and virtue, the true essences of what it means to be human. Thus, it is not an exhortation to isolation, but rather a call to integrate our lives with heightened awareness. This philosophy involves recognizing that true satisfaction and happiness do not emerge from the unrestrained accumulation of material goods or the incessant pursuit of fleeting pleasures. On the contrary, they emanate from a life cultivated in reason, kindness, and a commitment to the common good. It is an approach that requires deep reflection on the values guiding our choices, promoting a sense of purpose and meaning. Harmony with human nature involves a life guided by reflection and conscious choice, where each decision is not only made considering immediate consequences, but also assessing the long-term impact on our character and well-being. It means prioritizing what is essential and enduring over what is transient and superficial, leading us on a journey in search of balance, where we learn to listen not only to the demands of the body, but, above all, to the whispers of the soul. This path not only leads us to self-reflection, but also to the understanding that we are part of something greater. Our existence is intrinsically linked to that of other people and the world around us. Living in accordance with nature means living in community, contributing to harmony and collective well-being. It is the understanding that our happiness is intimately connected to the happiness of others. By cultivating virtues such as empathy, generosity, and justice, we not only elevate ourselves as individuals but also elevate society as a whole, creating a web of virtuous connections that strengthen the social fabric and promote true positive transformation. In the pursuit of a life aligned with our true nature, we find not only a higher purpose but also a source of lasting peace. This challenging path invites us not only to question and reflect, but, above all, to act consciously and deliberately. The choice of the good, the true, and the beautiful at every step of the journey becomes the compass guiding us in building an authentically human life. As we tread this path, we aspire to live in a way that reflects the true nature of the human being. It is not a solitary journey, but one of connection. It is not about indulgence, but about balance. And it is not about egocentrism but about contributing to the common good. Finding lasting happiness is not in the fleeting shadows of ephemeral pleasure, but in the constant light of virtue and wisdom. This is the invitation that nature extends to us, to rediscover our essence and live a full and truly human existence. 
The precariousness of life often escapes our consciousness amid the daily whirlwind of tasks, plans, and concerns. Seneca, with his stoic wisdom, confronts us with a sharp reminder. You could cease to exist in the next moment. These words do not intend to instigate despair, but rather invite awakening. They remind us of the importance of valuing the present with the intensity and presence it deserves. Focusing on the present is not just a practice, it is an art. It involves weaving the fabric of our lives with the threads of mindfulness, valuing each moment as if it were unique because indeed it is. This transformative approach to everyday life frees us from the shackles of the past, with its regrets and nostalgia, and the weight of the future, with its uncertainties and anxieties. Living in the now is embracing life with all its imperfections, challenges, and beauties, dancing to the unpredictable rhythm of the universe, with feet firmly planted in reality a cornerstone of stoicism that invites us to experience the fullness of each moment with gratitude and awareness. The appreciation of the present, far from urging us to neglect the past or ignore the future, functions as wise guidance. It teaches us to extract wisdom from lived experiences, to plan prudently, but without losing ourselves in reveries or concerns that obscure our ability to live fully. It is an invitation to traverse the journey of life with lightness, without the weight of what if and maybe preventing us from appreciating the beauty of the present. True freedom, according to Stoic principles, lies in the ability to focus on the present, recognizing the precariousness of life, and still choosing to live each day with meaning and purpose. It means making peace with the impermanence of all things, accepting that although we cannot control every aspect of our existence, we have complete mastery over how we choose to experience it. Therefore, inspired by Stoic wisdom, we can cultivate mindful and conscious presence in our lives. Each breath, each step, each gesture can be infused with intention and gratitude. By doing so, we transform the ordinary into the extraordinary, the everyday into the miraculous, not because the circumstances around us have changed, but because we have changed the way we perceive and experience them. Self-sufficiency, a principle deeply rooted in Stoic wisdom, resurfaces as a powerful reminder in an increasingly interconnected world where societal voices dictate standards of success, happiness, and fulfillment. The essence of true freedom is found in self-sufficiency. This concept invites us to look inward, recognize, and cultivate an internal independence that transcends external circumstances and others' opinions. Focusing on oneself in this context is not an act of selfishness or isolation, but rather a acknowledgement of the inherent ability each of us possesses to create a full and meaningful life with the resources within us. This self-sufficiency not only strengthens our resilience in the face of life's vicissitudes, but also empowers us to shape our own destiny, guided by an authenticity that resonates with the deepest essence of who we are. Understanding self-sufficiency is delving into the awareness that, while we can appreciate and seek external connections, knowledge, and experiences, the ultimate source of our satisfaction and peace of mind lies in how we perceive, interpret, and react to the world around us. This self-sufficiency does not mean denying our social nature or the benefits of interacting with others. On the contrary, it is recognizing that the foundation for any healthy and enriching interaction with the external world begins with a solid and positive relationship with oneself. By becoming self-sufficient, we cultivate emotional stability and clarity of thought that enable us to face the ups and downs of life with balance and wisdom. Internal independence is the result of deep self-awareness, an ongoing effort to align our values, thoughts, and actions with the principles we choose as guides for our existence. This is a process of constant learning and adaptation, where each challenge faced strengthens us, and each success teaches us humility and gratitude. Focusing on the development of this self-sufficiency, we discover that true freedom comes from the ability to be at peace with oneself, regardless of external circumstances. We find that contentment and joy are not distant goals to be achieved through the accumulation of possessions or external recognition, but states of being that we cultivate in every moment through our choices, attitudes, and perspectives. Accepting the uncontrollable in our tireless quest for control over the numerous aspects of our existence often confronts us with the frustrating reality that many elements are entirely beyond our influence. Stoic wisdom, with its millennia-old foresight, offers us a transformative perspective on this universal dilemma. By accepting what we cannot change, we make room to focus our energy and efforts on what we can control, our attitude, our choices, and our understanding of the world around us. This not only frees us from unnecessary anxiety, 
but also allows us to develop an inner strength that becomes a foundation for facing challenges with resilience and wisdom. The crucial distinction between what is and what is not under our control is a fundamental principle that, when embraced with serenity, not only liberates us from many daily anxieties but also paves the way for deep and lasting inner peace. Accepting the uncontrollable should not be confused with resignation or passivity in the face of life's challenges. On the contrary, it is a conscious choice to direct our energy, attention, and efforts to areas where we can truly make a difference. This perspective implies understanding that, while we cannot predict or alter the whims of fate, we have full autonomy over how we choose to respond to them. This acceptance is not a sign of weakness but a demonstration of strength and wisdom, recognizing the futility of fighting forces beyond our control. The first step in cultivating serenity in the face of the uncontrollable is self-observation. By becoming more aware of our automatic reactions to external events, we begin to notice the space that exists between the stimulus and our response. In this space lies our freedom to choose a response aligned with our highest values and goals, instead of being swept away by impulsive and often counterproductive reactions. This shift in perspective requires practice and patience, challenging many of our ingrained mental habits. However, as we become accustomed to this approach, we discover a source of tranquility and resilience that allows us to face life's storms with a renewed sense of calm and confidence. Learning to differentiate between what is controllable and what is uncontrollable not only helps us release the burden of unnecessary worries, but also directs our focus to actions that enrich our lives and the lives of others. Moreover, this acceptance teaches us to value and be grateful for the experiences and lessons that life provides us, even those that initially seem adverse. By embracing the flow of existence with openness and flexibility, we cultivate an attitude of gratitude that transforms our relationship with the world, enabling us to grow and thrive regardless of the circumstances that may arise. In the complexity of the human existence landscape, we are constantly drawn by a myriad of external stimuli, desires, and social expectations promising happiness and satisfaction. However, Epicurus, one of the luminaries of Stoic philosophy, offers us an alternative path full of wisdom and serenity the practice of detachment. If you wish to be a man of peace, learn to ignore many things, he advises. This teaching is not an invitation to indifference or isolation, but a call to consciously focus on what truly matters for our personal development and well-being. The practice of detachment, as proposed by Epicurus, is a deliberate approach to free ourselves from the shackles that bind us to thought patterns, behaviors, and relationships that do not serve our growth or happiness. It is the recognition that many of the things we consider essential to our existence actually distract us from what is genuinely valuable and enriching. By disentangling ourselves from these external influences, we make space for deep introspection and the cultivation of internal qualities, such as resilience, compassion, and wisdom. Detaching in this context doesn't imply rejecting human relationships or life's pleasures, but rather reassessing our priorities and redefining our relationship with the world around us. Learning to ignore many things is, in fact, an act of choosing where to direct our attention and energy. It means giving less importance to the judgments of others, social pressures, and the incessant demands of consumerism, focusing on building a sense of inner peace and satisfaction that doesn't depend on external factors. This journey towards detachment challenges us to question our deepest beliefs about success, happiness, and the purpose of life. It requires courage to face the discomfort that may arise as we distance ourselves from old habits and worldviews. But the result is unprecedented freedom. The freedom to choose how to live based on our most authentic values and a clear understanding of our true needs and desires. Detachment, therefore, is not just a philosophical practice, but a journey of self-discovery that leads us to a more meaningful existence, aligned with our true essence. As we practice detachment, we delve into a journey that reveals an inexhaustible source of peace and contentment. This practice not only teaches us to live more lightly, accepting the impermanence of all things, but also allows us to find joy in simplicity and genuine connection with others. The renewed focus on our personal development is not just an internal transformation. It has the power to inspire positive changes in people and the world around us. A deep understanding of Stoic philosophy especially when applied to everyday life, can be a powerful tool for facing modern challenges. The proposal to acquire the ebook Stoicism in the 21st Century, 
Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, is a valuable opportunity to further explore these concepts and unlock prosperity, abundance, and enhance relationships. Furthermore, in the rich tapestry of Stoic philosophy, we find elements such as community and empathy, crucial for a deeper and holistic understanding of life. The journey toward virtue and wisdom, though inherently personal, is not meant to be traveled in isolation. Contrary to what some may presume, Stoicism celebrates interconnection and interdependence among individuals, emphasizing the importance of living with empathy and justice towards others. Each individual is an integral part of a larger whole, an interwoven social web whose strength and beauty derive from the diversity and contribution of its members. Empathy in this context goes beyond the emotional understanding of the other. It is a call to action. It means recognizing in the other not a stranger but a reflection of oneself, sharing the same struggles, joys, and desires, understanding that true wisdom resides not only in self-knowledge, but in the ability to transcend our individual limits and connect with the shared human experience. This expanded perspective not only enriches our understanding of Stoicism, but also highlights the importance of building bridges of understanding and solidarity in an increasingly interconnected world. Living with empathy, in the context of Stoicism, is more than a mere exercise. It is a journey of expanding consciousness. This practice becomes a constant effort to see the world through the eyes of others, and to act in ways that contribute not only to our individual well-being, but also to collective well-being. Stoic empathy goes beyond mere emotional understanding of others. It is an ethical commitment to recognize and respect the dignity and inherent value of every human being. Justice, as another central pillar of Stoicism, transcends merely legal or formal conceptions. It incorporates an ethical principle of fairness, seeking just distribution, giving each individual their due. Acting with justice means not only observing these principles in significant matters, but incorporating them into daily interactions, everyday choices, and the treatment of those around us. The conscious practice of Stoic justice is a commitment to building a fair, equitable, and compassionate society where each person is valued and respected. Stoicism, as a philosophy, calls us to recognize our responsibility to others in the world, emphasizing that our freedom and personal development are intrinsically linked to the well-being of the community. By cultivating empathy and justice, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to strengthening the bonds of solidarity and understanding that sustain the social fabric. Thus, embracing the Stoic call to live with empathy and justice, we recognize that every act of kindness and every gesture of understanding contributes to a more harmonious and humane world. The journey toward virtue, while personal, reveals its true value in contributing to the greater good, in the ability to look beyond oneself and recognize the shared humanity that unites us all. In this collective quest, each of us plays a vital role in creating a more compassionate and equitable world. As for courage, that indomitable force celebrated by Aristotle, it intertwines with the principles of Stoicism. While Aristotle sees it as the fundamental virtue, in the Stoic context, courage is not just bravery in the face of external danger, but also the resilience and determination to face internal challenges. It is the fearless willingness to look within, confront adversities, and make essential changes for personal evolution. Therefore, courage in both Stoicism and Aristotelian philosophy emerges as the quality that propels all other human virtues, a force that empowers us to overcome obstacles, seek truth, and above all, shape our own journey of growth and self-discovery. Regular reflection practice offers valuable insights into our thought patterns, habits, and emotions. It allows us to identify areas of our lives that may require adjustments, recognize significant achievements, and learn from past challenges. Moreover, reflection is an essential tool for cultivating gratitude, as it enables us to acknowledge and appreciate the positive aspects of our journey, even in the most challenging situations. Stoic philosophy in particular values introspection as a means of self-discovery and self-transformation. Epictetus, one of the prominent Stoic philosophers, stated, Let's examine our principles. Otherwise, let's borrow principles from another without realizing it. This call to self-analysis highlights the importance of questioning our beliefs and values, ensuring they align with virtue and wisdom. Reflection, when done deliberately and consistently, becomes a dynamic tool for self-development. It not only helps us grow individually, but also strengthens our connections with others. By better understanding ourselves, 
We develop empathy and understanding for the different paths of life and perspectives of those around us. Therefore, by incorporating reflection as an integral part of our daily journey, we equip ourselves with a powerful tool for personal growth, continuous improvement, and the building of more meaningful and compassionate relationships. The morning practice of meditation offers a sacred space to set clear and positive intentions for the upcoming day. This precious moment is not just a pause in the daily hustle, but a deliberate opportunity to cultivate a positive mindset and strengthen our resilience in the face of adversity. By nurturing thoughts and attitudes that reflect who we aspire to be, we can positively influence our interaction with the world around us. This daily encounter with silence and inner peace arms us with a serenity that endures throughout the day, allowing us to face challenges with more equanimity and appreciate the blessings life offers. Similarly, the nightly examination of conscience is a valuable practice that concludes the day reflectively. This process of self-evaluation allows us to reflect on the experiences lived, celebrate achievements, recognize mistakes and learn from them. Diving into this introspection, we develop the self-awareness necessary to promote positive changes in our behaviors and attitudes. Daily reflection on our actions and their consequences makes us more aware of our habitual patterns, providing space for authentic and lasting transformation. Moreover, this practice acts as an antidote to superficiality, teaching us to value depth and connection and to live more intentionally and meaningfully. Understanding the relationship between freedom and discipline reveals itself as a fascinating journey toward authenticity and personal fulfillment. At first glance, it may seem paradoxical to assert that discipline, often associated with restrictions and control, is the fundamental pillar for achieving true freedom. However, as we explore this connection more deeply, we discover that discipline is, in reality, a means of cultivating our capacity for self-determination. Discipline, far from being an external imposition of rigid rules, transforms into an internal practice of self-control. It represents awareness and the ability to direct our desires, thoughts, and actions according to our deepest values and long-term goals. By incorporating discipline into our daily lives, we are empowered to transcend momentary impulses and choose deliberately the path that will lead us to true freedom. This conscious approach allows us to take control of our choices, resulting in a freedom that goes beyond superficial limitations. Instead of being slaves to immediate impulses, we become masters of our destiny, making decisions aligned with our higher vision. In this way, discipline becomes not only a restraint but a powerful tool that guides us on the journey toward authentic and lasting freedom. By integrating discipline into our lives, we realize that we are forging autonomy over our choices. True freedom in this context is not just the absence of external restrictions, but the internal ability to live according to our deepest principles. Discipline then emerges as an essential ally in this journey, providing structure and guidance as we strive to reach our highest potential. In summary, the interplay between freedom and discipline transcends the simplistic notion of restriction versus autonomy. On the contrary, it shows us that discipline is the key to unlocking the doors of authentic and lasting freedom, empowering us to consciously shape the course of our lives towards full realization. The journey in pursuit of discipline goes beyond the mere adoption of an inflexible path. It is, in fact, a profound exploration of self-discovery and personal growth. By embracing discipline as an ally in our journey, we not only shape our behavior but also challenge ourselves to understand the limits of our own resilience. In this process, we are confronted with the intrinsic complexity of our psyche and the challenges that naturally arise during the transformational process. True discipline, far from being an external imposition of rules, is an intrinsic expression of self-love and authenticity. It invites us to delve into the depths of our essence, confronting our own patterns of thinking and behavior. When faced with the temptation to succumb to momentary impulses, discipline reveals itself as a reliable compass, guiding us back to the desired course. In this context, it becomes not only a tool to shape our actions, but a means of continuous self-discovery. Discipline, therefore, should not be seen as a burden, but as a powerful tool to unlock our true freedom. By resisting the temptation of instant gratifications, we recognize that true freedom does not lie in the ephemeral pursuit of passing pleasures. Instead, it materializes in the deliberate construction of a life aligned with our deepest and most authentic values. In this process, discipline reveals itself as a catalyst for inner transformation, allowing us to transcend self-imposed limitations and reach a higher state of self-awareness. 
By accepting the inherent challenges of discipline, we not only strengthen our willpower, but also cultivate the resilience necessary to face life's adversities. Ultimately, the pursuit of discipline is an enriching journey that goes beyond mere compliance with external rules. It is a journey towards authenticity, self-knowledge, and ultimately, the achievement of true freedom, where each choice is a conscious reflection of our deepest values and higher aspirations. Furthermore, by practicing discipline with compassion, we cultivate a growth mindset. We understand that stumbles are an integral part of the process and valuable opportunities to learn and adjust our course. Discipline, when tempered with compassion, transforms challenging moments into springboards for self-improvement. It's important to highlight that discipline is not limited to specific areas of life, but permeates all dimensions, from daily habits to the pursuit of long-term goals. By integrating it into our journey, we not only gain a deeper sense of personal freedom, but also become conscious architects of the life we wish to build. Therefore, discipline, when understood and practiced wisely, is a beacon that illuminates the path to a more authentic and fulfilled existence. Therefore, let us embrace discipline not as a limitation, but as a path to freedom. May it be the compass that guides us through the storms and mists of life, keeping us steadfast on our journey toward a more authentic, fulfilling, and liberated existence. May the discipline of our desires, thoughts, and actions be the key that unlocks the doors to true freedom, a freedom not defined by external circumstances, but by the integrity and purpose with which we choose to live each day. In this crucial moment where the path ahead is challenging yet illuminated by the promise of growth, I invite you to take the next step with us, joining our community. You embark not only on a personal journey of transformation, but also become part of a collective movement in search of wisdom, strength, and virtue. Each video we share is a piece of this mosaic designed to inspire, challenge, and support you in your pursuit of personal mastery. But our journey together goes beyond merely watching. By following our channel, liking, and commenting on our videos, you amplify your voice in this ongoing dialogue, contributing to a vibrant community of inquisitive minds and courageous hearts. Share our messages with those who, like you, are ready to face life's storms with determination and balance. Together we can transcend circumstances, shaping a future where each of us is the master of our own life. Don't let this moment of inspiration fade amid the distractions of everyday life. Act now. Follow us like, comment, and share. Be the change you want to see, both in yourself and in the world around you. This is your call to action. Respond with courage, curiosity, and above all, with an open heart. Together let's build a legacy of strength, wisdom, and virtue.